Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. Um, got an email uh, advertisement here, and it's a lesson and a hint and a, some advice. You know, if you shop on Amazon, <clears throat> eBay, no matter where you shop, um, you put something in your cart and you just sit on it. And guess what? They come back with, you can buy it for, you know, it goes on sale. Just for you. <laughs> so, uh, this is on the arrow cart. And I've done videos on it before. A uh, good homesteading tool, prepper tool, uh, bug out tool, possibly. For some people, you know, not ideal, but uh, it would serve the purpose better than nothing. And... When I bought it, it was $99, and it was, you know, really good price. I, you know, $99 was a good price for what you get. And it went down to 75 84 whatever. You know, now you can see it's $69, $30 less than what I paid for it. Got two thumbs up. If I had more thumbs, I'd give them more thumbs up. Um, I wrote a review of it, and they never got it or never published it or never responded, but... Uh, to me, this thing is the most ingenious redesign, uh, use of the wheel, of leverage. Uh, Archimedes, the Greek um, scientist, said, give me a lever and a fulcrum, and I can move the earth. In other words, you know, a pry point. And you can see in the picture there, that's what it's, exactly what it's doing with the rock there. Um... You can move really heavy things with this thing. That's using leverage. You have these big, heavy, solid, wide handlebars, and you can move that rock really easily. <clears throat> so, um, multitude of uses. The handles are wide enough, solid enough, hard enough, you know, hefty enough. You can, with a full load of firewood, you can walk it upstairs. Like, to get in to a house, you know, you might have to go up a porch and then up another step into the house and another step into another level of the house. You can just walk it in there. So you don't have to just pull it. You can just like real easily leverage it over, get a tire up, get the other wheel up. <clears throat> All right, so. Um, and I took a lot of time doing this. I mean, it is later than I want to know. Um, it's past midnight, and that's. A no-no for me, but I got started on it, and I'm going to finish it. So and I want to get back onto doing videos and starting a book pretty soon. So what I did was <clears throat> I very meticulously went through a number of sets of pictures, of photographs uh, from eBay, and um, started out with just the accessories, the things that come with it, that you can do with it as it comes. For 69 bucks, this is what you'll get. Okay, you get the rock carrier, the rock sling. Um, there's use of the ramp, kind of a given, but, you know, combine the wheel and the ramp, and you can get a really heavy thing up into a truck for loading. So it's not an appliance dolly per se, but it is hefty enough and tall enough with the handles or the, the way they're set, that if you put a load strap around that, you could move a refrigerator. I guarantee you, okay? So, it's a normal dolly, two-wheeler, whatever dolly, whatever you want to call it. Uh, move up to 300 pounds. The plate there is flips up, flips down, very solid. I, I, it could be beefier, but the way it works is very solid. Um, the plate itself could be a little bit uh, heftier, I think, but... Um, so next, this is a sling, again, made to use leverage to carry a heavy potted plant. And it can be, that plant could be six feet tall, you know, as long as your height is not obstructed by going in and out of a house, you could carry a very large, heavy potted plant. That would be, I think that sling probably would stretch out to almost two feet. So, 
I don't know the dimensions on it at the moment, but um, but it can go quite a ways. So heavy potted plants. Now here you see the just the little no flat tire. Okay, solid tire. Four cubic feet. Handles quickly removed to fit it into a trunk car trunk. 300 pound foldable leg support. In other words, you can have it like that as a wheelbarrow stable. So you got four points of contact. I can't tell you how many times I've had a wheelbarrow loaded, you know, single typical construction wheelbarrow um, with wood or whatever, and it falls over because the ground's not quite level. You put one too many pieces of wood or one too many rocks on one side of it, boom, it falls over. Never happened with this. Because there you're dealing with only three points of contact, one wheel, and two normally not really stable braces. This thing is rock solid. Okay. You can see those two extension arms on the side. Uh, those are the what folds out to carry your rock, carry your plants. Uh, you'll see pictures where you can slide under a table saw, bales of hay, you know, mulch, whatever, bags of mulch. So very, very solid, just totally ingenious design. Okay, so this one nah, shows the, um, it's eight and one. Now these are the basic things that you get with it, okay? Uh, let's start with the refrigerator at the bottom. You can carry your appliance with it. It's a dolly. <coughs> <coughs> Going uh, clockwise, it's got a little attachment where it, it holds a cylinder, like an oxygen cylinder, welding cylinder, a carboy. It braces it, holds it, so it's stable. Again, you can strap it on. Normal wheelbarrow configuration there with, like I say, four points of contact, two wheels, two legs. Potted plant, uh, flip those braces out and you can carry large boxes, bales of hay, um, bags of mulch, stack of chairs, you'll see that. Uh, the rock carrier, sling, um, I think it's an 80 pound rock it says. And then the last thing is if you put a ball hitch on it, you can use it to move trailers and you'll see that in a minute. All right, so. Here's your uh, typical standard dolly configuration. You see the legs are folded in, up, whatever. Um, and the cantilevered things for the sling are folded in too. So that's this two-wheel cart configuration. Here you slide it under a stack of chairs. You know, those legs come out reach all the way out to the end of the chairs. You know, I think they're stacking those a little high, but you know, <laughs> there's, there's a limit to things. Number one rule of engineering is overstressed structures have a way of relieving themselves. But wouldn't you really do, wouldn't you really rather do it yourself? Right. So, bales of hay. Again, the legs are out. Um, and that shows you about how tall that is. That, Handles are very tall and very solid, very wide. Uh, put mulch in it, four wheel garden, four, four point of contact garden cart. <sighs> Wheelbarrow configuration, four points. Patreon, Viking preparedness posted, disturbing. Um, here is I think the cylinder holder is in there, but I think you can put it in different places because the other picture with the five-gallon carboy, it was down lower, but it looks like it's in there. Again, potted plant. Two legs are out, bags of mulch, five bags of mulch. That's, you know, you can have five 50-pound, probably four or five, maybe 50-pound bags or something. Dog food, you know, animal feed. Uh, typical cart, two-wheeler dolly configuration. You know, stack quite a bit of stuff on it. Now these are the uh, 
attachments that you get with it. Oh, what happened? Come on, stop it. There you go. Um, the mesh rock thing, the potted plant mover, a bag holder for trash, debris, mulch, leaves, and then the cylinder carrier. And I'm, I'm figuring there's probably maybe two or three places you can clip that in. Not positive, but judging by those two pictures, and I, I don't remember, I haven't messed with mine, I haven't used it much. Five bags of mulch, blah, blah, blah. Potted plant carrier. Everybody's got a smile on their face. <laughs> All right. Oh, she doesn't. Uh, you know, again, wheelbarrow configuration. But it, <laughs> I can't say enough about it. I mean, um, there's your rock web rock carrier. Again, yeah, seen that one. Yeah, sorry, I doubled that one. Tried to eliminate all the duplicates. Um, wheelbarrow, four point wheelbarrow. Bales of hay. Firewood. You know, lotus, whatever. Mulch, dirt, whatever. Refrigerator. Big rock. <laughs> really good size rock there. Okay, now here you have the right in the middle there, that hole is where you put a one and seven eighths, two inch, you know, whatever. Ball hitch so you can move a trailer. Um, so that's, that's a really good use for it. Oh, another duplicate. Ah, big boxes, see? I didn't take time. I I know there's a, one of us picking up a table saw or something, and that would be a a good example, but... Okay, there you have a, a bag with leaves and whatnot, yard, yard debris. And that's a ring that cl clips into the same place where the uh, cylinder support does. There's your four. Now, this goes into other accessories, and this is a water bag, 20-gallon water bag, sprinkler attachment or nozzle on it. Pop that off, boom, fill a bucket quick. And that you can pick up for... I think I saw it for ten dollars. And she's got two different heads there, the sprinkler and the closure. Now this makes it into a wagon. Okay. A four wheel wagon. And this would be something not not gonna carry a lot of uh bulk. It's four cubic feet, it's not real huge, but you could you know, maneuver, it, uh, you know, rig it with sidewalls or something. But as a bug out cart, it'd be a whole lot better than nothing. It would carry a lot of weight. Um, you know, something to have in your car and the handles pop off. You can see in this configuration, it does not have the handles on it. You'll see them stuck in here. There's a place to put them in. Um, but here you have a pulling capacity, pushing and pulling capacity. And the the cantilevered uh, handles that uh, hold the um, rock carrier and the potted plant carrier. You could put a rod across there and, and actually push, you know, someone could be pushing also as well as pulling. If it was a kids working with it or something. That's what you get with part of what you get with the garden cart that makes it into the four wheel attachment, four wheel system. And there's the whole thing together. The seat is for garden work. You can sit on it and do your stuff and have all your tools and you know, drinks there. It's got two slots for drinks and tools and whatnot. So, as well as potting soil. Now here in that same configuration, that's six bales of hay. You know, that's 300 pounds. And it, they fit on there. 
probably with, looks like with room to spare. And then this um, dolly thing would be up to the, the base, the plate would be flipped up to hold them in place. And here you can see where the handles fit in there. So you can carry them if you want to flip back to another thing. You can do it just in a matter of a couple minutes. Wagon, cart wagon, wheelbarrow, whatever you want to call it. And you notice the wheels steer with that handle. It would be a given to not do it, but yeah, that's very, very awesome. Garden cart accessory, garden cart wagon, whatever you want to call it. Seat to sit on while you're potting plants and planting. Um, it has a <clears throat> divider system bag that goes inside of it. You can get that accessory. There it is. It's got uh, Velcro dividers. You can put them wherever you want them. And the bag, you can pick the bag up and carry it. Set it out, put something else in. This is, uh, some people might want to get this. <laughs> snow shovel with a lot of heft behind it. You can move a lot of snow with that thing. Um, I don't have that. Know how much I need it here, but look up Grand Solar Minimum Channel, Oppenheimer Ranch Project, and Ice Age Farmer, and bone up on that Grand Solar Minimum GSM. Boom, as Diamond would say. Okay, so this is how that thing attaches, and it looks solid to me. And everything else about the thing is real solid, so I gotta assume that's solid. You know, good piece of work. The the blade itself looks phenomenal. Um, you see the uh, replaceable scraper to protect it, um, built really well. <clears throat> A few pictures here of people actually pushing snow with it. And the handles are beefy enough, you can flip that off to the side, just flip the whole thing. You know, in case you didn't want to just scrape at an angle or whatever. <coughs> Firewood attachment. <coughs> Brilliant. So, <coughs> that attaches in a matter of a couple minutes. <coughs> I think it'd carry about, I'd say, a couple, 300 pounds of firewood if it was oak. That's what it looks like. And that's it. That's it. So, that was pretty good. Brief, whatever. Where's my 1818? Repeating numbers. Watch for them. 333. Three, three. What does 333 three, three mean? It means arc safety. Healing and refuge. And it's time to get in the arc, people. You might think about getting one of these, whether you're homesteading, I mean, anybody. There are so many things, so many things this thing can do. It is mind-boggling. And they're all well-designed. They're all solid. The um, thing I like about it is I can load that thing up with firewood and walk it, drag it, push it, pull it anywhere I want it. So, very impressive. So, I just wanted to get that done, get this out. Spent a lot of time putting this together, and that came through. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that I. That's about everything. Like I said, there's there's a few other pictures that I didn't pick up, but this really covers um, most of everything that it does. So, phenomenal piece of work, and for sixty nine bucks. Now, for sixty nine dollars, you're going to get. That's on eBay. You're going to get the basic configuration, the eight and one. You know, you get those four attachments. So you can have a trash bag, debris bag, whatever, potted plant mover, mesh rock, cylinder carrier. Then that. So you can do large items, two wheeler hand cart, move trailers, move rocks. Refrigerator, wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow, 
cylinders. Again, large objects. And potted plants. So, all right. That's about it. Go back through that, and I'd you know I'd recommend it. And get one, get two, get three. <laughs> you know, there you go. That's what I was looking for. That's your eight in one. Um, everything it does, sixty nine bucks. You get all that, and it's it's a solid piece of equipment. It doesn't look. Uh, this is totally different. Totally different. Like I said, totally reinvented the wheel. Combined, not just the wheel, but leverage, uh, fulcrum. The, the handles alone are leverage. They're beefy. I said, walk it up, pop the handles out, fold the thing down, fold it up, throw it in the trunk. You carry one of them in your trunk for a bug out, stage two bug out system. So, alrighty, this is Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant. 69 bucks. There you go. Get one today. <laughs> nice if you're getting paid to do this, right? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm working on it. All right. Goodbye. Yeah, we bless everyone. Thank you.